Drones in recent years have changed course of many conflicts, and despite all expectations, new military powers are emerging because of their drone potentials. Iran and Turkey are the main new drone powers and they know how to properly use their weapons. But which one has been more effective and which is more advanced? Let's have a look to know. Over the last two years, drone strikes have shifted the trajectory of conflicts from Yemen, Libya, Iraq and Persian Gulf through to the Caucasus, Ethiopia and even Ukraine. By looking at the world's most prolific drone powers such as Iran and Turkey, it becomes clear that the new drone age has altered the rules of war. Based on a report from Washington Post, it is estimated that more than 100 countries are trying to develop or acquire drone technology. Among them, there are those powers who we normally used to see like United States, China, Russia and Israel. But Iran and Turkey also in the restless region of Middle East have risen to the top of this technology and are already challenging their opponents and exporting their products. Comparing drones of these two neighboring countries is not easy because there are serious differences in the technologies and scope of their UAVs, though we can do a comparison between just two similar models which have already proven their efficiency in different conflicts. First of all, Turkey has limited models of drones. Their best has been the Bayraktar TB2 for many years and the newly introduced Akinji has not yet been tested in the battlefield. But Iran has more than 10 types of different drones for different tasks and has already manufactured them in thousands. Secondly, Turkey is not sanctioned like Iran, so they not only have the chance to receive many vital parts for their drones from abroad, but they can also sell their final products to whoever they want. Therefore, technologies used in Turkish drones are also more complicated and up to date. And the third point is that Turkey manufactures drones in a way to use them as the main weapon on the battlefield. Iran's strategy is different. They tend to use their drones in coordination with ballistic missiles to provide a mixed attack on targets. So drones for Iran is still in the second important place as a strategic weapon. Now to compare with Turkish Bayraktar TB2, the best and closest model could be the Shahed 149 or the Gaza drone. Based on the reported specifications, length of TB2 is 6.5 meters and length of Iranian Gaza drone is 11 meters. The wingspan of TB2 is 12 meters, but the wingspan of Gaza is 21 meters. The maximum takeoff mass for TB2 is 700 kilograms and the maximum takeoff mass for the Gaza drone is 3,200 kilograms. The Turkish TB2 uses the Austrian Rotax 912 IS engine which is in service since 1984. But it's not clear that the turboprop 650 engine of the Iranian drone is being manufactured inside Iran or simply purchased elsewhere. The maximum speed for TB2 is 220 km per hour and the maximum speed for Gaza drone is 350 km per hour. Operational range for TB2 is up to 4000 km and the range for Gaza drone is up to 500 km. Actually, Iran, because of political decisions, announced that the range of this drone is 2000 km, but it can really fly up to 5000 km. The service sailing for TB2 is 25,000 feet and the service sailing for Gaza drone is 35,000 feet. The flight endurance for TB2 is 27 hours and the flight endurance for the Gaza drone is 35 hours. And finally, TB2 can carry four guided missiles while Gaza drone can carry 13 missiles. So as you see, the Gaza drone could be more powerful than TB2, at least based on the specifications. There is also one proof for that. The Bayraktar TB2, despite its real efficiency, has been numerously taken down in Libya, Karabakh war and especially Ukraine war, mostly by Russian Pansir system. On the contrary, Gaza's younger brother, the Shahed 129, which has been in service for several years, has not been used in full-fledged wars like TB2, though it has faced US systems many times and was never shot down or taken. Iran uses Shahed 129 and other drones 
constantly against US and Israeli targets throughout Middle East, especially in Persian Gulf and Iraq, and has been able to cause too much casualties. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and write your opinion down in the comments.